Hey, this is Edison and Abelard. Welcome to part two of our Rover game design series. And in this video, we're going to discuss a little bit about particles and prefabs. Now, if you remember in our last video, we left off with creating our gem and having the ability to collect our gem. In this video, we're really going to focus on adding a little more depth by making this gem sparkle. So to begin, we're going to first create particles. I create other particle system. Move this in the center here. Now we have a whole bunch of settings here on the right. Our energy is how long the particles live for. Our emissions are how many particles you see. Um, minimum being the minimum and max, of course, being the maximum amount of particles. Then we have some physics down here with force. You can think of force as wind, as you can see going in different directions. And then we have the ellipsoid, which is the actual radius of the particles. So I'm gonna add a little more, I'm gonna add a lot more particles, maybe 100, so you can see. Now this is the overall radius of our particle system. The ellipsoid will allow you to decrease that radius. We're going to go down in the X. Go down in the Y. So now you can see the radius is a lot more compact. All right, so that's just a quick primer on, on our particles. Now we're going to jump into Photoshop nice now if you wanted to create a cloud you can always do this but <laughs> in actuality this is way too many particles and if we wanted to maybe even dial it down a little bit you can see the particles are just spheres right now and in order to make them look like clouds we're, we're going to actually create a material in Photoshop um, I'll just do new so you can see call it cloud now when it comes to texturing in 3d you definitely want to stay in the powers of two but most things are, are are in eights and I'll go in later on in the video on why it's important to do fours and eights but um, in this case we're gonna do a 64 by 64 I want our cloud to be a purplish color zoom in a little bit I'm actually going to fill this in black just so we can see so all I'm doing here is just just gently creating a cloud texture it's very important that as you create at least for this cloud texture you don't touch the edges because our when we when we map it to our particle whatever we're gonna use transparency so if we go to the edges, you'll, you'll end up seeing um, a straight line somewhere along your particle. It's going to look a little off. So we create that. We can still leave our black background in there. We can save it. Call it clouds. Yeah. Perfect. Now, in our materials folder, we're going to create new material. We're going to call it a cloud. We're going to grab our cloud texture that we just created and drop it in here. Now, if you notice, I saved it out as a PSD file. Unity can import PSD files, and what it'll do, it'll actually flatten everything, um, similar to what you would have done, flatten image. So this is what gets imported into Unity. But I want you to be very cautious. Our file size isn't large, of course, but with Photoshop, you can get very large images. So you may want to either flatten it ahead of time or find way to some way to optimize, especially if you're using this for uh, multiple devices. On the web, it won't be too bad, but most Unity projects uh, that take a while to load is because uh, mainly because of texture and, and extra assets. Okay. 
so the first thing we're going to do is, is on our cloud material, we're going to change this to a particle. Uh, we're going to do additive soft. Perfect. And now our particle system here, we're going to name, rename it to cloud system. Perfect. And now we're just going to grab our cloud material and drop it on our cloud system. And you'll see right away this starts to change. You can't see the effect too much right now just because the particles are so small. So what we're going to do now is it just makes a few modifications. Change the size a little bit. If you want to see a better um, representation, you can always look in uh, in your game menu. You can play and take a look. Okay, grow size. Might be a little too much. Let's bring this down to maybe 20 and 15. And we can take up our minimum and maximum size just a little bit, see how that works. Okay, just a little too much. Now with, with particles, you're definitely going to spend a lot of time just tweaking some settings and until you find what you like. You can always save out the particles for, for later on or create a package, which I'll show you in another video. Okay, we're going to change our grow size. Okay, now what I want to do is add a little bit of force, um, actually random force, just so this has a little life to it. Let's see what else we can do. random rotation add a little more randomness to our particle system okay just a little random velocity if you really want to see what effect um, you're having just take it up and slide it up just a little um, larger than normal and then you can just keep tweaking it after that. Okay, cool. Take that down just a nudge. All right, so we'll leave it at, at this for now. Just so we have just a little bit of, of energy around there. Now, if you want to take it up, maybe increase your size grow so it goes over time. You can always do that. Now the next thing we're going to do is, is take this and attach it to our prefab. So get our cloud system. Our, our gem is the prefab. And drop this onto our gem and lose our prefab. What we're going to do now is grab another gem. Oops. 
just to show you a little bit about the prefab you'll notice that our first gem over here actually has a cloud attached to it and the second one doesn't to fix this what we're going to do is is grab our gem and now over here we have our prefab we're just going to select apply Now you'll notice that our other prefab is starting to emit its particles. Remember in an earlier video, I spoke about the difference between uh, just duplicating an item and using prefabs. And this is the reason why prefabs, or this is the power behind prefabs. Uh, if you have multiple items, especially if you're using um, power ups or anything that's repetitive, you can easily update it once and just hit apply and it'll affect all the other ones. Now what we're also going to do is create another texture and call it stars. Same thing 64 or 64 and we're just going to create a star. I actually want this in white so I'll just colorize that. And just to show you that you can use different types of material, I'm going to use black so we can see the star, but then I'm going to change it um, to a transparent background and show you how you can add transparency also you know, as a uh, material texture. So now I'm just going, <clears throat> excuse me. So now I'm just going to blur this a little bit. Save it as stars. Actually, let's get rid of this. Hit save again. Go back into Unity. Same process. Create material. Call it star. Grab by texture. Drop it on top. Change this to particles. And what we're going to do is, is add particles. Additive soft. and we're going to create a new particle system create other particle system and what we're going to do with this particle system is is grab our star drop it on it now you can see we have little stars Another good thing to see is, is if you notice that these are actually planes that draw on top. So you can imagine if you do go to the edge, how you will get a line banding around there. Well, this is cool. We're just going to rename this to star system. And what we're going to do now is, is parent it to our other particle system. So now we have both of them together. Same thing as before, we're going to just make slight modifications. We don't need as many particles for this one. But we, we definitely want a little more energy. I'll just show you. Actually a little less energy. So what we're really trying to create is just an effect of um, just random stars. Okay. See how they look like together. Let's hit play. Actually, before we hit play, if we click on the game screen, then hit spacebar, we can get this at a larger screen. 
Okay, so maybe we want to increase the size a little bit. Oh, I got the wrong particle system selected. It's okay, we'll just bring it down. Okay, so let's make sure we have the stars selected. Increase the minimum size just a little bit. 0.3 looks like it's too high. Yeah, that might be even too high. Okay, so now we're just going to play around with uh, with the settings and keep tweaking this until we find something that we really like. Making a particle grow in size, decreasing values this is more like a genie and a lamp not what we're interested in but okay so that's our prefab now all we're going to do is, is grab our prefab again hit apply now we can just hit play and you'll see now they both have both the stars as well as the cloud around there so that's it for this video on how to create clouds or in our particle systems and a little bit more about our prefab in the next video we're going to discuss how do we add sound to our prefab so when you do collect these items you get a sound effect Edison Abelard, out.